We got Joshua here after Arsenal defeated Burnley 3 1 right here at the Emirates Stadium. Uh, let's get to get your reaction, Joshua, about this particular game. After, you know, the disappointing, you know, defeat against uh, our Newcastle St. James Park last week and Arsenal coming back to bounce back to winning ways. Yeah, well, let me be honest with you, yeah. I want to say tonight's performance was absolutely outstanding because literally the players had, had the confidence yeah, to smash Burnley because literally, you know, it's not long that Burnley joined the Premier League. They're not even as good as we are, you understand? So Arsenal players just have to keep fighting for it, fight for it. Even the Burnley players just want to foul Arsenal players, yeah, like they did with Saka and all that. They just want to be rough. They're just jealous of our, our, our Arsenal players. That's the thing, mm. whereby for the greatest team in London. Mm. But if you look back on, you know, the other Arsenal games, like when it was Newcastle, I was absolutely gutted because literally, you know one thing yeah, with that referee at yeah, Newcastle, yeah, he, yeah, mm -hmm. he, I don't know why when the ball went out, yeah, mm -hmm. then he didn't even blow his whistle. But when, you know, the ball hit that Newcastle player's like, you know, arm, which was like, you know, that's basically a handball. Why did the referee call it out? And I was like, for fuck's sake, ref, is this ref all right? I was thinking this ref needs to go spec savers, you understand? But looking on today, yeah. Tonight's performance was absolutely outstanding. So, you know, we may have not got like, you know, more points, but at least, you know, a 3-1, like, you know, 3-1 win is all right. Because I was thinking 4-1, you know, mm -hmm. Arsenal were literally so close to scoring four mm -hmm. and they make it like, you know, 4-1 to the, to the Gunners. But at that start, like, when Burnley scored, mm -hmm. that was absolutely shocking at this point. I should not have seen that. Arsenal players, yeah, should have just cleared the ball mm -hmm. and not allow Burnley to just get it and then, you know, score. But mm -hmm. besides, you know one thing, yeah? Mm -hmm. I start keep doing this. Mm -hmm. We are going to win, you know. Not uh, we're going to win, not just the league. We could win on the trophies like the FA Cup. I mean, forget the Carabao Cup. I mean, besides, I was annoyed that we did get spanked by West Ham because mm -hmm. Saka and Odegaard were benched. You know, at uh, West Ham, Declan Rice, of course, at West Ham. No, it's West Ham's former player. I mm -hmm. I don't blame Mikel Arteta for benching Declan Rice, but I had to blame him for benching Saka and Odegaard because we could have won West Ham at the London Stadium. If he had started and put him on, put them on the start level, because if I was in Mikel Arteta's shoe, I would start them no matter what. Mm. Look at the way Saka played today, absolutely outstanding, yeah. And then the assist that you know some of the players that gave Leandro Trossard, spot on, what a goal. Mm. So if not, I'd start Leandro Trossard in every single game, even Saka, of course, because Saka's got very good assists. Mm. But looking on now, mm. I think what's the next game? Oh, we got look, we got international break. Yeah. So after international break, yeah. Yeah, we got Arsenal versus Brentford, yeah. So if not, Arsenal go to Brentford. Let's see if they can actually beat Brentford, yeah. And if not, come on, you gunners. We're going to do this. Mm. Who was your best player today? My best player, uh, obviously, I, I say Liano Trossard. He has to take that. Mm. I I'll give Liano Trossard your man of the match because he was outstanding because that goal of him was remarkable. The way he moved with those skills was just absolutely impressive, yeah. Mm. Mikel Arteta, of course, I, 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 I will give him, like, you know, a very good, good, like, you know, well done for the way he managed to score. So, you know, Mikel Arteta did a very good job today. That's what. Should Arsenal have signed a striker in January? If yes, what striker do you want Arsenal to sign? You know, they have so many strikers now. Looking at the likes of, you know, uh, Victor Boniface of uh, Bayern Leverkusen, you know, getting Wait, to Victor score. Victor who? Uh, Boniface of uh, Bayern Leverkusen. Getting to score a lot of goals right now. Yeah, I can't lie. I think looking on those players, yeah, Mikel Arteta would want to sign because besides, I think if we really want to bridge that gap more often, do sign players because we, we do have a good squad. At least we got Declan Rice, who is a sick midfielder. We really bridged the gap on other teams. That is why when we had Declan Rice, we even bridged the gap on Manchester City yeah, here at the Emirates that we beat the one new after eight years. Because eight years is hella crazy. It's long, you know, because if Man City, yeah, I mean, besides, man, no one cares about Manchester City. They've won too much. All that matches that we're by far the greatest team in North London. So the more us to do this year, even in Champions League games, mm -hmm. They could even go for the win Champions League. So I just want to see more of that often in Champions League, yeah? Then I end up saying they'll win the Champions League because there's a saying, yeah? Mm -hmm. Practice make perfect. You understand? But before I go, yo, all I can say is, yeah, big shout out to you, Lionel Trossard, yeah? Mm -hmm. I loved your goal, yeah? Absolutely remarkable, yeah? Just to say. Thank you so much, Joshua. Yeah.